Before you go out and buy yourself some soldering tools, make sure you check this video out first. Welcome to the Plumbing Gurus channel and on this channel we're looking to save you money and keep you informed on all the proper plumbing practices. Alright, so let's get into what tools you need to have for soldering. So, one of the most important things before you even think about uh, getting into bringing any of your stuff into the house and soldering, you're going to want one of these. It's a fire extinguisher and if you happen to light something on fire, you're going to want this there. We haven't had to use it yet, but you never know. And then we have, I, this is my favorite torch. This is the Turbo Torch Extreme, the TX504. The reason I like this one the best is the, uh, the torch head swivels if you need to do that. Uh, my striker is still working four years later, first try. You can lock it, you can adjust if you're just doing half inch, but you can also get it up nice and high. You can also change these, these tip heads to for bigger if you're doing like some brazing or anything like that, bigger copper. And that is the torch, and then I always take it off and make sure it's empty of any gas in there. And then the next thing you'll for sure need is some flux. Uh, the flux that we use is always going to have lead free. Uh, there's lots of different types of fluxes. I prefer these type of ones with the lids like this. There are ones that come with the pre, the brush inside of it, and then you will need a brush. Uh, we got this. The solder, so this is 95.5 solder. It's lead free, and I'd say 99% of the time we just use this. You can get 50/50 solder, not at uh, you can't buy 50/50 at a, a whole like a Home Depot or anything. But the 50/50 is more for heating and actually probably more so for uh, drainage than anything. But we still just use 95.5. You will need some some sand cloth, grit cloth, or there's lots of other ways of doing it. But the flux. What the flux is for is it makes the capillary action so that when you do heat up the, the, the copper, you need to clean and flux everything so that it actually sucks in. We will be doing a video on how to do all that stuff later, but these are all just the things that you need before we can get into that. So you got your sand cloth, and then as I was saying, you need to, you need to uh, clean the fittings with a fitting brush. So this is a three quarter, this is a half inch brush. These will clean the inside of the fitting and the, the sand cloth will clean the outside of the pipe and then the flux will go on the pipe and then on the inside of the copper fittings. And then before you go and uh, do any of that anymore, you're going to want to make sure after you've cut the copper, you this is a reamer so it will take the burrs away from the inside of the pipe so that you take away from the, uh, the turbulent flow which will, turbulent flow is just the, the it hits the burr and then the, the water will kind of spin through the copper and potentially create some leaks down the road. So you want to make sure you're, you're cleaning the inside of your copper after you cut it, the burrs. You have your pipe cutters. This is a three quarter inch pipe cutter, a half inch pipe cutter. These are really, really nice to have. Uh, they just clamp right on and they get into tight spaces. If you're getting into some bigger stuff and doing a lot of copper cutting and you're doing it on like a, a tri stand or something like that, we'll use the rigids. Rigid makes the best copper cutter there is for these type of cutters. And you also have a striker. If you don't have a nice torch like I do that works right away, you can get the striker to, to light it for you. We also have this sweet heat blanket here that uh, if, you're, if you're soldering in, in spots with wood or you know you don't want to burn something, you just put this behind the copper and it will protect it and it, it might light on fire but it won't burn the things behind it so it's, it's nice for that. And I think that's pretty much it for what you're going to need to buy for a whole solder kit. Okay, so now this is the probably my favorite soldering kit I've ever owned. I've got a lot of people buying these because of how great they are. It's the DeWalt. You can pick them up on, I will put a link in the description below for you. Check them out. So you have, the best part about this thing is it's like a tool kit. It also holds our copper fitting. So we got our half, three quarters. Every fitting you'll pretty much ever need when you go into a house is there. It's nice to have that. 
And then the, another sweet spot is you open it up and all the stuff you need that we just showed you fits perfectly in here. You can even fit, fit some, uh, there's some small pieces of copper in here. So if you're going in to do like a, a hot water tank or just a small job, the, the pipe's already in there and you're not really bringing in a bunch of different stuff. All right, thanks for watching this video. We appreciate everyone that's already subscribed. You guys are making it very easy for us to keep wanting to do this. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos like this in the future. Uh, and in this video, whatever stuff that we've put in here, we'll put in the link in the description below so you can pick it up and you can have yourself a nice solder kit for your house or your, your tool kit for your, for your van, whatever is working for you. Uh, again, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. See you on the next one.